I studied as a painter, in fact. In about 2007, I decided to start doing cinema. And having decided that, I then had to decide how I would do cinema. And with my background as a painter, I thought, well, fairly obviously, oh, why don't I sort of paint a film? So I chose the means of animation as a way to express myself. You realize that there's a big difference between making a feature-length film and a painting, especially having made Have a Nice Day. I like to tell stories, and I like to read novels as well. So only a full-length feature film can really tell a story properly. But the certain hardware, the certain funds that you need, to, and you need a long time to produce a feature-length film. Now, luckily, I had a lot of time on my hands at the time. I had those three years to spare, and with funding, I decided, first of all, to invest in myself. Liu Jian's cinema is very, very modern very cool, and it operates on many levels. Firstly, it's visually very appealing, but beyond that, it's very idiosyncratic. So if you look at it as a film professional or just as an artist, it's very innovative. He mobilizes the language of film very well, and it's, it's that and the story itself that really attracted me. Well, the story is just one that happens on the margins of a big metropolis, because I'm interested in marginal people in the cities. Um, for me, that's an environment with a lot of uncertainty and a lot of possibilities because you have all these different types of people. Um, and that's what I did with The Piercing, also my previous film. So it's a good environment for a plot to happen in. It's where the city merges into the countryside. So. I mean, everything's moving. Nothing is really stable in these places. Have a Nice Day obviously is an animation feature, so the use of sound is very important for it because of that. Unlike films with human actors on screen, you don't have all this detail coming from their facial expressions and gestures. So there has to be some compensation from sound effects, such as breathing and other sounds, which produces more of the mood and helps move the plot along. What I'm concentrating on is characters and their personalities. So any political the elements are just incidental to the storyline. This is just about you know, human lives, their emotions, and I think that that's something much more universal. I'm just looking at everyday life where you don't often come into contact with you know, government people, not as much as you might think. But this is the first Chinese animation in competition in Berlin, but Chinese animated shorts have been at the Berlinale before. I'd like to thank the people behind the Berlinale for this. I'm very confident about Have a Nice Day, and I think it is worth being screened anywhere. You know, you'll view something Chinese or American and everybody paints it with one particular brush. But the fact of the matter is, you know, we're all individuals, we're all different. Everyone in this room um, is individual and different. And uh, what I especially like about working with somebody like Liu Jian, specifically about animation, is that, you know, in the US you have Disney and Pixar and DreamWorks. Um, but in China, you know, you have somebody like Liu Jian who basically spent three years of his own time and did 95% of the work. I mean, if you see this right here, <laughs> you know. There's a lot of roles here that usually would be split amongst maybe 50 people. 
Um, <laughs> And so that was sort of a digression, but uh, I'm, I'm, I ad admire this guy quite a bit, and um, I think what he's done is very special, and I hope, I hope the audience recognizes that too.